The Duke was devoted to the arts, and the court exposed Bach to a far greater range of international music, particularly when, after a visit to Amsterdam in 1713, his musical son brought back a selection of scores by a composer whose style was to have a dramatic influence on the 28-year-old Bach, the music of Antonio Vivaldi. With Bach, the Baroque in music came to fulfillment, and his complex interweaving of differing musical themes is the finest example of counterpoint in Western music. Bach was basically a contrapuntal composer. The contrapuntal texture is, if you like, a tapestry made up of all sorts of different coloured threads. And so each individual thread has its own beauty, its own independence, it has its own reason for being. But if you weave them all together, they make a wonderful, glorious whole, this, this tapestry of counterpoint. At the court in Weimar, Bach composed organ fugues, chamber pieces, orchestral suites and cantatas. Music was written both for the chapel and for princely entertainment, with the same melodies and popular dance rhythms appearing in both courtly and devotional works. stayed at Weimar for nine years, but when he was denied the position of Kapellmeister, the musical director responsible for all court music, he sought a post elsewhere. Impatient to leave, he asked for release from his duties at Weimar in a manner so antagonistic that the Duke had him imprisoned for a month for too stubbornly forcing the issue of his own discharge. In